Hello, welcome to a new Creature tutorial. And this is a very exciting tutorial covering the new lip syncing feature in Creature. Uh, to start off, I'm going to introduce to you a, an open source program called Papagayo, which is a third party tool that it will be required when we want to do lip syncing in Creature. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is to go onto the Papagayo page over here. It's all documented online on the Creature documentation page if you have trouble getting to this page. And I've also forked its repository on the Castro Moon Studios GitHub so you can grab the source as well. This is fully open sourced. And so first thing you want to do is grab the appropriate program for your operating system. All right. Okay. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to run the program itself. So this is Papagayo and I have actually imported a sample speech over here. Okay, so let me play this. I shall go over my spells while we wait. Okay, so that's our input input WAV file. So import into Papagayo and then type in the words that are in that speech WAV file. Okay, and it will automatically generate for you these sound modules or, or components, sorry that will match your your speech and when you play it I shall go over my spells while we wait see how it actually creates a bunch of sprite shapes that match your your talking or your, your speech pattern right I shall go over my spells while we wait okay so that's Papagayo itself and once you're done with that once you've typed in your sentence and you can arrange these these words and these tones yourself once you've done that what you do is you click export and you export the lip syncing file into a DAT format. Okay, call it whatever you want. And then we will get into Creature shortly and I will show you how we do lip syncing in Creature. Okay, but uh, before we continue, I want to talk a bit about the actual sprite shapes that represent the mouth, right? Because you notice I sort of hinted on that notion, but we didn't really get into detail what it actually means. So, before you do lip syncing in Creature or actually in Papagayo, you have to provide it a series of mouth shapes. These are basically frame by frame sprites that get swapped in to the mouth itself, the mouth region itself. Okay, and you really only need to provide 10 of them. That's really the standard that Papagayo follows. So there's, there's these 10 shapes that I've actually drawn out. And you can draw, draw it out yourself, obviously, for your own custom mouth shapes. And so these are a different, I guess, speech tones or speech, you know, mouth shapes that represent each part of the shape, uh, each part of the speech, sorry. And, you know, composed together in different combinations and permutations, they re will represent a general speech pattern, so to speak. So take a look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna upload this sample, sample file from my example for you guys. You can take a look and you can construct something very, very similar for these different tones, okay? But make sure there's 10 of these and the PNG files obviously have transparency in them and they are named accordingly, just like this, okay? So make sure you construct these 10 sprites and we will get into Creature now and I'll show you how lip syncing is accomplished. Okay, welcome back to Creature and we're gonna do some lip syncing. Okay, so I'm gonna open up this fairy sample project, all right, with where she does a simple running slash walk cycle. And the first thing I'm going to do is I need actually a placeholder region for the mouth because we're going to swap in some mouth shapes onto the placeholder, right? And so you notice in this fairy sample, I don't really have a mouth shape. So I'm going to arbitrarily pick one of the regions and going to add them in as a placeholder. Okay, you can add anything as a placeholder, but I've chosen to use this region over here. And so I've actually constructed a square mesh around it so I can easily swap images on it. And so this guy is going to go on onto her face as the mouth. Okay, but in general, though, you should actually prepare an actual mouth shape just to make it a bit more easily identifiable if you know what I'm talking about. Okay, never mind. So let's go to the rig mode. And you notice in this case, I put the the funny mouth thing, the the the, the region, the, the the proxy or the placeholder onto her face as the mouth. Okay, but don't worry, this is going to be swapped in as the mouth. All right, and here are the bones. Okay, so let us actually go to animate mode and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So let me go to the regions mode and you notice this is so-called her mouth. And um, if I run it, nothing happens. 
Okay, she does a simple walk cycle with the flames. That's pretty cool. But the focus of the, the tutorial today is lip syncing. Okay. So let's zoom in on that. The first thing we're going to do before we do any lip syncing, obviously, is we need to have the sound as a guide so we can easily animate and time the lip syncing, right? So what you do is you click on animate and you click on sound asset manager. Okay. So in this, in this mode, you can, in this window, you can actually import a bunch of sounds. Okay. So what you do is you import the sample sound that we had and create a new sound asset on this. In this case, I've already imported that and I call it speech. Let me play it. I shall go over my spells while we wait. Okay, so that was our imported sound. So import that wave file in and call it whatever you want. And the next thing you want to do is you want to add that sound into the timeline so we can at least time it or animate it, right? So click animate and then click add sound to animation knots timeline. Okay, so this appears, right? So now we can actually say when the sound begins. So I can click on say frame 10 or time 10, click on the key to set it and set the speech, click set. Okay, so now if we play the animation. I shall go over my spells while we wait. Right? I shall go over my spells while we wait. Okay, so now the animation actually triggers, or rather the sound actually triggers at frame 10. So this is good for timing, okay? So now we have done that, we have to do the actual job of swapping the mouth shapes onto the placeholder. So what we do is select that, click on Enable Image Swap, okay? Now click on the first Sprite Manager, Sprite Frame Manager. So I have these sprites already in, but these, these are for the flames, and that's not really what we want. So let's import the mouth shapes now, and let's go find the mouth shapes. Okay, so here are my mouth shapes. I'll select all of them. Okay, so they're imported in. Okay, so that's the first step, okay? The second step is you notice there's nothing really interesting about these mouse shapes. They just come in as regular sprites. So how do we do actual sprite swapping as lip sync, as a lip syncing operation, sorry. So we what we need to do is we need to tag these mouth shapes according to the mouth shapes that we defined when we drew them. Okay, notice I, I mentioned before that there are these 10, these 10 mouth shapes that you have to tag, right? Accordingly to their names, right? So let's start tagging these mouth shapes. So what you do, you select the, the mouth shape you care about, click on lip sync, lip sync tag, okay? And pick the right tag. This is this AL guy over here, click set, okay? And you notice the tag appears on top of it. So let's tag the rest of the mouth, mouth shapes, all right? Okay, so I've tagged all the 10 mouth shapes ready for lip syncing, all right? So we're gonna start the actual lip syncing process. So the first thing we're gonna do, click on Run Lip Sync, and pick the DAT file, the Papagayo Lip Sync DAT file that we just generated earlier from the Papagayo program. Double click on that, set a default speed, well, I think 1.0 works, click OK. All right, and now you can see the image swapping knots for lip syncing based off your mouse shapes of your speech have now been inserted into your mesh region, the placeholder over here, right? Okay, these guys over here. Okay, so let's play it and see what we get. I shall go over my spells while we wait. All right, so that's basically I shall go over my spells while we wait. Lip syncing in I shall go over my spells while we wait. I shall go over my spells while we wait. You can see it works pretty well. I shall go over my spells while we wait. And you can try different kinds of speech patterns, different input speeches. I shall go over my spells while we it. wait. So this was basically a short tutorial on I shall the go over my spells while we wait using the Papagayo third party. I shall go over program. my spells while we wait. I hope wait. you guys have a lot of fun making very interesting examples or visual novels. I shall go over my spells while we wait. Creature. So have fun. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I shall go over my spells while we wait.